I get a lot of questions from a lot of HR about whether or not they can actually switch their career from being an HR to a Salesforce professional. And before answering this question, I would like to ask them why? 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 Why do you actually want to switch your career from being an HR or a recruiter into a Salesforce professional? Like you first need to answer first and foremost need to answer this question to yourself. Let me help you figure that out. Is it because you're bored of being an HR or a recruiter or you do not see any growth into the field of HR or a recruiter or you feel like that you're easily replaceable or you think that you can earn a lot of money in a short span by being a Salesforce professional or there is some other reason behind it. First and foremost, figure out why you actually want to switch from an HR or a recruiter to being a Salesforce professional because this is exactly what will act as a motivation towards uh, being a Salesforce professional while you'll be preparing for it. After answering to yourself why you need to switch from being an HR or a recruiter to a Salesforce professional, now is the time to answer another question and that is which profile you want to switch to. Do you want to become a Salesforce developer? Do you want to become a Salesforce quality analyst? Do you want to become a Salesforce business analyst or what? The reason I'm asking you to answer this question is because without choosing which profile you want to work on or work in, it will be difficult for you to prepare for it and also it will be difficult for you to understand that like uh, with whom or with which people you actually need to connect yourself with who will be able to help you out to prepare for that particular path or to prepare for that particular profile. By the way, Salesforce Administrator is not any more a profile at least in India. So just forget about it. Now the next question comes up is how do I need to switch from being an HR or a recruiter to a Salesforce professional? So the number one thing that you need to do in order to start with this is learn Salesforce. It is actually very easy to learn Salesforce nowadays with so many resources and content available out there on the internet. But there is a big problem here. And the problem is that a lot of people out there are just learning it, watching the content or reading the content but are actually not being hands-on onto it. Like if you're reading something like, let's say, uh, relationships, and if you're not actually trying that in a developer org, or you're not being hands-on uh, with that particular topic, it's just a waste of time. It's not gonna help you learn Salesforce at all. So please, if you're learning Salesforce, then be hands-on with your learning rather than just reading it, watching it, or yeah, I mean, learning it like, by just reading and watching. And especially the people who are from a non-IT background, all what they do is read, listen and watch. They do not implement. I request you all to please implement it in the org as soon as you learn it. Or read it or watch it or listen it. The second thing that you need to work on in order to be a Salesforce professional from being an HR or a recruiter is not actually preparing for a certification, but preparing for a job or a job interview. A lot of people learn Salesforce just to get certified and after getting certified, the first thing that they do is just add that certification on their LinkedIn profile and think that uh, they'll get a lot of opportunities once they'll get certified automatically. Let me tell you, it's a myth and I'm here to bust that. This is not what it looks like. Instead, a lot of people get disappointed after getting a certification or a couple of certifications and even after that, they're not actually getting an opportunity or a job. So the major problem over here is to not prepare for just the, or just for the certification, but instead preparing for a job or for a job interview. And while talking about preparing for a job or a job interview, the third point is preparing for a job or a job interview. I know it is not easy to actually prepare for a job or a job interview, but I'm here to help you do that. I know preparing for a job or a job interview is very difficult, especially for the people who are not from the industry or no, who are not from the same background in which uh, they are actually giving an interview in. So in this case, what you need to do is you first need to, okay, of course, you first need to learn Salesforce and uh, practice all of those things into your developer org uh, and implement all of those things so that you are hands-on uh, with the with the tools and the, the code and everything which is present onto Salesforce. And the next thing that you need to do in order to prepare for a job or a job interview 
is gain experience and exposure and you can do that by actually helping someone who is already working into the industry uh, as a salesforce professional and uh, you can just like offer them some help with their job or uh, you can just offer them uh, yeah help for the job that they are doing or for the task that they are doing all what they can do is they can give you the tasks uh, which they are doing in their job and uh, you can help them do that and by doing that for free you'll be gaining experience and exposure to actually do a real time job so it's basically doing an internship without actually doing an internship i, I guess you got that <laughs> And if you are in HR and recruitment you already know how to find that person out and offer them some help with their tasks as well as assignments or they can give you some tasks or assignments which will actually give you practical exposure of uh, being a salesforce professional into that particular profile which is exactly what will help you land a job not the certification now after doing all of these three things the fourth step is to apply for a job <laughs> If you are an HR or a recruiter you know it better than me so it's better for me to just shut up and move on to the next point the fifth and a very important step after getting a job is to start low key if you really want to reach heights don't throw tantrums of an experienced person just try to be humble and respectful to all of the people no matter uh, if they are younger than you or older than you there's a lot of opportunity for you to learn from all of them who are already there into the industry or uh, who are your colleagues and uh, who are your peers so just be humble and in no time you'll be able to reach heights i'm betting on you with this not only that you'll also act as a motivation to others to switch their career from a domain like hr or recruiter to being a salesforce professional and by the way you might also get your story published on trailer so what are you waiting for just start learning salesforce and if you are looking for resources then here are some number 1 trailhead of course number 2 journey to salesforce if you do not know what that is just search that uh, search about that on google it's an amazing program which salesforce is running with the help of which uh, people from different industries or different domains or different technologies can actually transform their career into being a salesforce professional so it's an amazing uh, program uh, which can be a part of which will not only help you learn salesforce in a better way by connecting you with the mentors and everything but will also help you connect with the employers who are willing to give opportunities to the people who are planning to switch their career from a different domain or from a different technology or from a different industry into salesforce so the sign up for that right now so the third and a very important resource is of course salesforce hulk channel if you're planning to learn salesforce from scratch you can find like content on each and every topic on our channel and in fact a complete playlist which you can check out down in the description and if you like this video then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so wait 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 it's not the end there are some frequently asked questions that i would like to answer right now in this video itself question number 1 will i have to start back again as a fresher into the salesforce domain uh, if i am from an hr background or some other background and planning to make my career onto salesforce like will my experience be considered or not so the answer of this question is no your experience as an hr or a recruiter will not be counted over here and you'll have to start all over back again as a fresher into this industry or into this domain right but don't worry about starting all over because sheer dedication and hard work will help you climb back again very very quickly and you have to do it today or tomorrow so why not today question number 2 Is Salesforce certification necessary or compulsory to get a job into the industry as a fresher? The answer of this question is again no. You do not actually need to prepare for a certification or you do not need to have a certification in order to apply for a job or uh, in order to get a job. If you are hands on with the technology, if you are hands on with the platform and if you actually know uh, the ins and outs of the uh, of the platform and uh, yeah of the work that you'll be doing in your job you'll be able to crack your job interview which will event which will actually uh, help you get a job rather than just a certification it might get you through the door but at the end of the day it will be the skills uh, that you possess which will help you land a job so the thing is a certification is not necessary to get a job as a fresher in salesforce industry or salesforce domain question number 3 and a very important one do companies entertain such lateral movements from being an hr to a salesforce professional so the answer of this is very simple as far as i can understand every company wants a motivated dedicated 
hard working and reliable person working for them and if someone is actually working so hard to switch their career there of course they, they they possess all of these qualities so companies do entertain and in fact appreciate these lateral movements which people actually make and in fact uh, someone who is working so hard and willing to sacrifice everything to get into the industry or get into the domain would be a gem for any company so no company would be willing to lose a gem like this so stop thinking about it and that's all about the frequently asked questions which people ask whenever they are switching from any of the profiles into a salesforce domain and uh, after this video i just want to thank uh, shri sendu das biswas uh, who asked me this question on email on my email uh, on salesforce@gmail.com uh, which was a very detailed email which he wrote down and uh, which actually motivated me to create this video so thanks a lot uh, for writing this down to me and if you also have some questions related to this like similar questions like this or some other questions which uh, you want to ask to me related to salesforce or related to your career or anything then you can just write me down on uh, linkedin by just create uh, like creating a post with ask the hulk hashtag or you can just send me a message over linkedin as well i'll be happy to answer all of the questions that you might have now if you think that this video really helped you get more clarity onto it then make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with other people as well who are planning to switch their career to salesforce and they need to watch this so please make sure to share it with your friends peers whosoever is willing to switch their profile to uh, salesforce and uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel which is salesforce hulk then make sure to hit the subscribe button over here with the notification bell icon so you'll be the first one to get notified whenever we post a new video See you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.